So, it's been a while. Um, what's going on guys? Rimblish here. Um, and today I'm going to bring you a video, something I've been kind of wanting to do for a while, but I've been waiting until I've got the uh, necessary stuff to finish it. Um, it's a terrarium build. Um, I'm gonna, my first tropical terrarium build. Um, I'm going to basically just show you all the setup that I do with it and then um, I'm going to yeah we'll get into the plants and stuff um, I know it's also I should say as well it's been a while um, there's been some changes since I've been in here um, I will be doing a video on that soon as well but I'm just going to uh, yeah well I've, I've been pretty excited for this but I, it's been a I, I wanted to wait until I could get the right plants for it and make it work so yeah let's just get into it then so this is the canvas we're working with um it's about that big there's my hand just for reference um and it was given to me as a gift uh basically all i really got to do before i can start getting getting the background scape at least is give it a little quick just a quick little rinse just to clean some of the dust and stuff off um and yeah then we'll get then we'll get into actually making the background for it okay that's uh that's mostly been cleaned i mean i could still probably give it another spray on the inside i'm probably going to wait until i've got the background done just because i don't want it to get too damp inside otherwise it'll make uh make it clean up from the substrate a little bit more difficult but let's uh let's get into adding some substrate to this Oh, and also, um, so just in terms of when I'm adding this substrate, uh, I gotta consider where it is, so it's gonna be sitting against a wall. Um, probably the best way that I'm gonna approach this is I'm gonna try and back it up against the wall, um, build it back up against the wall, and then I've got one little, little hardscape rock that I'm gonna add in, and then I'm gonna try and go for a relatively simple style aquarium, um, uh, terrarium, sorry, uh, but yeah, that's that's basically what I'm thinking of. I'm gonna do a little time-lapse now for you while I Yeah, while I build it So the way I have it right now, it um, should have enough space. I don't have a false bottom in there. Um, that should be fine. You don't really need a false bottom um, if you're doing an open terrarium, which is what I am doing. And uh, also it can raise the water level, uh, ra yeah, it raises the base water level um, just a little bit as well, having a false bottom in there. So I'm going to probably not um, for my first one, if this turns out badly, I will probably end up trying a false bottom in other terrariums, but just for this one, I'm going to try and not do that, and then we'll see how it goes, because, yeah, this room gets warm as well, so it shouldn't, it should have, like, some fairly good evaporation levels as well, and then the main part will just be to try and not really overwater it, and that should be fine, since I should only be misting it. So yeah, so for the hardscape, I have this piece of, uh, this piece of rock. I've had it in a different, uh, kind of smaller terrarium that I have. It's not really a terrarium. It's basically just where I'm growing string of pearls out in. Um, but I'm going to try and put this basically in there and I reckon with the planting that I have in mind that it should, um, the idea is I kind of want that to be a kind of uh, central focal point to the whole terrarium and then I'm going to try and uh, set things up so that they kind of frame it around it I guess is what I'm going for. Okay, so here is the selection of plants I have. So I've got a, um, and by the way, these are all, um, these are all Bottle Babies, um, which is an Australian-based company. Um, I think it's it's somewhere in, in the north. Um, I can't remember exactly where, but um, yeah, Paradisia Nurseries. Um, 
So these are all these are all basically uh, supposed to be designed to stay quite small um, and be good ideas, uh, good good uh, suited, well suited plants for terrariums. Um, so what I've got, I've got a uh, a Devalia rabbit's foot, a rabbit's foot fern, um, basically uh, just a small version. I've got a Syngonium pink arrow, and I've got a Peperomia San Marino. So there are those two as well. Um, and the idea, I think, is I want to have the Peperomia in front of where the stone is. I want to have the rabbit foot fern above it, hanging over, and I want to have the Syngonium uh, coming up along the side. So that's where I'm, that's uh, how I think I'm probably going to arrange them within it. And maybe, maybe I'll add a couple more plants as well as I, as I go, but these three in particular I think will make for a, um, a good selection. Okay, so those are all cleaned off now. I gave them a bit of an extra rinse after. I was just trying to, you want to remove as much of the substrate as possible. And that is a very wet substrate even before I started spraying it. So it's uh, you know, good to get it out. Um, and then we'll get it, we'll, we'll start placing them in the terrarium and hopefully everything looks good. Um, yeah, we'll see how it goes. Okay, so I've realized two things as I'm doing this, um, and you know, I always expected this to be a bit of a learning process anyways, but I thought I'd just point them out just so that like, you know, it's not blaringly obvious. The, um, this peperomia is going to be quite big. Um, it might overgrow the rock a little bit. I kind of wanted that as a feature, but you know, that's okay. Well, um, I might move it then, uh, to up there so I th because I think that would make a little bit more sense um, so we'll try and do that and then I might try and still put the syngonium in along the side um, and hopefully it does kind of because it can become a vining plant um, so hopefully it does kind of vine up towards the rock um, I reckon that could still look pretty good my initial vision uh, probably didn't take into account how big the peperomia was going to be but you know it's always good to good to learn about how to think about the spacing of things i probably needed to think about that a little bit more but that's okay as you as you say you live and you learn uh let's continue on okay so that's looking looking much better now that i've got the syngonium in here the one thing is it might actually you know actually i'm just gonna i think i think if i'm gonna do do this i may as well do it right and i think that makes more sense um I'm gonna need to give everything a spray down as well, but then we're almost done basically at this point. So let's um, I'll give everything a little bit of a clean off as much as I can, and then we'll uh, we'll, we'll wrap this up. I think. Okay, so sorry about the reflections, but I couldn't help myself but feel like I needed to add a bit of wood to this. So I just grabbed a uh, bit of random wood from the yard that I thought might fit in pretty well. Um, and I've, yeah, I've added it in and I've tried to follow kind of like similar kind of angles coming in through here and then you have a little bit of color there that kind of will grow over the top, hang on, over the top hopefully. And then hopefully with the Syngonium coming up around and it might even, it might even decide it wants to be a part of that piece of wood as well. But I think it just completes the scape a little bit more. So that's all been given a clean. So this is my, uh, this is my, Pretty finalized build. I still need to clean off some of the peperomia leaves. Um, I, I don't know <laughs> if those inflorescents are gonna um, go in, going to become clean at any point. I did try picking some of the stuff off of it, but it didn't uh, didn't seem to want to work. Um, the only other thing that I could really complete this with, I guess, is like maybe a little bit of moss back there or something. Hang on, maybe I'll go see if I got moss back in the garden that I can take. Okay, and never mind, it went to the foreground. So this is currently, yeah, this is it. This is I'm gonna I'm gonna stop adding stuff here. Um, I think this should do quite well. This has been previously I I was having that grow in like a kind of like on a bit of wood in some water, which um, so it's it's 
been growing fairly well um, and it's quite wet right now, um, which should carry it for some time, but I reckon it'll attach to this substrate pretty quickly. Um, so yeah, I'll get that up on the, um, on the shelf and then I'll do final shots. Okay, try to get as many of the uh, reflections covered as I can, but unfortunately you won't get them all sometimes. So this is, uh, this is it. This is my, give you a top down shot. This is my terrarium. Um, yeah, I think it looks really cool. Um, I hope you guys kind of enjoyed seeing that. If I were gonna do it differently, I probably would have uh, maybe played around with the plants a bit more. Um, first, just to kind of figure out uh, what the best way to do it is. I still like the layout of all the plants. I just wish I'd um, made the hardscape a bit more accommodating for that stuff first and had done the hardscape first because I think it would have ended up looking a little bit more clean and polished. Um, in terms of lighting, this room gets heaps of natural light, um, so I would probably be more worried about most of these plants getting too much light than too little. Um, if it does become a, ca a problem though, which I mean, I don't think it will, but if it does become a problem, I mean, look, I'll just, I will get some more lights and I'll sort that problem out as it arises. But as for now, it's, um, it's looking pretty good. I think the only other thing, that there is to do is give it like one final spray down um, just to make sure that we're kind of getting getting it off to a nice humid start um, and then yeah that's that's the video so sorry again about the reflections I uh, yeah I'm gonna I'm gonna need somewhere better to do this shooting but I'll give a little top down again Well, that's everything from me today. Um, yeah, again, it's been a it's been a good summer for growing plants, and I've got heaps to show. Um, I will do a full video showing like all the kind of like potted stuff that I've been doing, but um, that terrarium was something that I've been excited for doing for a, uh, a a fairly a fairly long time. I've been waiting a couple weeks for those plants to come in stock so that I could use that because I kind of had that idea in mind. I just wanted to. Uh, yeah, wanted to try and get that out. Um, so that's all from me. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, leave a like if you did. Um, and again, like, I mean, I could have probably done it a little bit better if I'd uh, taken a bit more time with it, but that's, um, you know, it's a first experience and you don't start learning those things until you do them. So, you know, I'm, I'm happy that I got out there and got started on it. Um, so that's all from me. Uh, hope you all have a wonderful day um, whenever this is uploaded um, and I will see you guys soon hopefully all right bye